For their opening group match, Portugal took on Ghana, which was a highly contested match for the majority of the game. It served as another opportunity for Cristiano Ronaldo to make a world record. He became the first person in history to score in five consecutive World Cups. Let's take a look at the tactical approach for both teams. It was a match to control the center with both teams setting up to create central overloads. I have to admit, the first half was pretty dull for Portugal as they struggled to utilize their creative midfielders and the likes of Bernardo Silva and Bruno Fernandes to enter into the final third. This was due to how Ghana lined up defensively with a 5-3-2 approach against a Portuguese 4-4-2 diamond. Although Ghana pressed aggressively higher up the pitch, Neves decided to slot in between his two centre backs to overload Ghana's press. As Ghana's middle three couldn't assist in the press against Portugal's fullbacks without leaving a central Portuguese player, Ayu and Williams, who were the front two committing to a high press, decided to keep their shape tight on Portugal's defensive midfielders. Ghana's setup nullified Portugal's ability to play through the middle third, and it worked tremendously. Portugal struggled to play through Ghana and find plays between the lines as they often do which led them to try and progress into the middle third with a left-hand side overload. We often saw Silva, Otavio, Guerrero, and Felix on the left side try and bypass the Ghana block, where it worked a few times. For example, we can't forget Cristiano Ronaldo's disallowed goal. It came from the left side. During the second half, the game opens up with Ronaldo's spot kick and also a count of a few tactical substitutions. Portugal shifted their system to a 4-2-1-3 with Felix and Leo playing on the outside of the fullbacks to make runs in behind. This change in system also allowed for Bruno Fernandes to have more freedom to roam the middle third to get into positive positions to take the ball forward. It worked like a peach. Bruno Fernandes grabbed two assists on either side of the field for both wingers in similar fashion, where he played a ball that both Felix and Leo could run onto and put the ball into the back of the net. Although Ghana made substitutions, they didn't alter their system to combat the creativity of Fernandes. For Portugal, although they crossed the line against Ghana, they didn't seem at their best and will need to be more proactive in their approach a lot more earlier than they did against Ghana when they come up against Uruguay later on today. Thanks for watching. My next tactical analysis will be on the heavyweight matchup between Spain and Germany.